Hey guys, welcome back to Alcohol Ink Month at ColorMeCreativeArt.com. I'm Jessica Sanders. Thanks for joining me. So today we are going to explore actually blowing the ink. You can get some really fun effects by blowing the ink and there are different ways to do it. So for this particular video, I'm going to show you technique eight, which is blowing with a straw. Technique nine, which is blowing with canned air. And then for the next video, I save that separately. It's going to take a little more time to explain. We'll be using a heat tool to blow the inks. So let's get started. I've got Limeade ink. I'm just going to use one color, I think, unless I can't help myself and I have to switch colors. And I'm going to start off with the straw. So I have uh, all of my different types of paper that I've been using in all, almost all of the videos to demonstrate. I have a bendy straw. And I do that because it helps me kind of stay out of the frame of the, the camera and it works just as well. You can use a non-bendy straw if you want. You can even use a stirrer, but you don't get very much air through there. So if you want just a little bit of blowing, this may be your best option. Okay, but I'm just going to demonstrate with the bendy straw. So just drop some ink. And depending on how long you wait, how much the ink spreads out, you're going to get a little bit different effect. And of course, depending on your paper type. So here we go. All right. So you get a nice floral bloom with these really uh, nice curvy kind of tendrils. It's a very floral shape you get on the glossy cardstock with the straw. Now let's try it on the Yupo. Now this particular brand of Yupo, the inks don't spread out very much on them. Your Yupo may have a little bit of a different tooth and so it may spread out differently. Um, so let's try this. There we go. So you get a, a little bit different pattern on the Yupo, a little bit um, more of the thin tendrils. You can see here they're a little bit thicker most of the time. Uh, and also the drying pattern is a little bit different. All right, let's try it on mineral paper. And I don't think I've done this on mineral paper before, but it should be very similar to the others, except it dries differently. And you can see, I think that I'm doing kind of a long blow right into the center. You can blow in any kind of direction you like. You could blow to the side, you can blow you know, not up, of course, because you don't want it to get in your face. These are alcohol-based. Um, I've never had a problem with it getting in my eyes or anything like that uh, when I was blowing, but just be aware that they are alcohol-based. Also, they're flammable, so don't have any kind of uh, candles burning around your ink here while you're working this way. Um, okay, so still even a little bit different pattern, and of course, this one will dry much more matte than these two. All right, so that's the example with the straw. Now let's move on to the canned air. It's gonna be a little bit different effect just because the canned air has more power than we usually do. Plus it's such a small end. You See this really small end? It's forcing, I don't know, just forcing a lot of air out of a very small space so it has more pressure. Okay, so let's just try it on the glossy. There we go. I didn't wait very long. If I had waited a little bit longer, it wouldn't, um, it would spread out more. I mean, you can hit it with more lots of air if you want to. See, I got some very tiny tendrils in this case. And you see it, it blew my paper away. <laughs> I did not tape it down. All right, here we go. Hand air and Yupo. I wasn't holding that straight up and down, so I got a little bit different blowing effect. Hmm. Let me try that again just because I wasn't quite spot on vertical. And just see what happens. Of course, now there's other ink, it's all going to affect each other. Okay, so get a little bit different effect. You can see how it's going further on the Yupo than it did on the Glossy. 
it moves further because it doesn't soak in at all. All right, I am excited to try this on mineral paper. I have not done it before. And I've been putting about three drops. Here we go. Okay, so it didn't move as much because of the tooth of this paper. It doesn't really soak into this paper, but it, this paper does have tooth. And I do have a little bit more working time because the, it doesn't soak in. That's kind of cool effect. Okay, like I said, you can blow it in any direction you want. Uh, what I usually do is when I'm working with the straw, I'm usually working on a flat, uh, flat surface. Uh, this is some of the Tim Holtz glossy card stock um, that I had in my stash. And you can see I have a lot of different kinds of floral shapes. And this is all done with a straw. Depends on how long you wait. This is layering and different things. So you can really have a lot of fun with it. And the way I usually use canned air is with ornaments, actually. I really don't usually use it on a flat surface. If I did, I would probably have a bigger sheet. Um... But it could be a lot of fun to use on a flat surface. You get some interesting effects. But usually I use them on my ornaments. So that's how I use the canned air with the alcohol inks. All right, so my next technique is going to be with the heat tool. And I'm going to have a separate video for that just because I think I need to do a little bit more explaining and I don't want it to get too long. So thank you for watching uh, using blowing alcohol inks on glossy card stock, UPO and mineral paper with straws and canned air. And I will be back for the second part of this video uh, pretty soon. Thank you. Go out and try this. I'm telling you, so much fun. Try it. All right, bye.